what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video in today's video i'm going to be going over my raid raptor 2024 deck build that i've been working on uh still work in progress but i kind of want to give you guys you know what, what i'm working with for raid raptors raid raptors has been my favorite um i guess deck to use for, for the longest longest time i already made one about i don't know how long ago but i'll put somewhere on this video uh to where you click on it check out that old build that i had uh but this build that i have is pretty much an update from phantom nightmares um so yeah so like it's to me it's it's need some work in progress but i'm going to show you what i have i am up for any critique on this on this deck build so leave your comments down below what i should add what should i remove and stuff like that uh i know it's a little bit different from what i usually post on the channel um but you know it's it's something that i want to do on my channel is kind of give you my deck those of my decks that i'm using for casual play you know it could be it could be tournament play i've i've done a tournament once before a couple years ago with my ray raptor build that i had in the past um but like i wasn't really sure on any of the hand traps that have been that were being used at that time which is still being used right now um but yeah let me show you real quick um but before i hop into it make sure you hit that like button sub if you sub yet and read the notification I'll get notifications whenever I go live post a video or post a short um so I'm gonna kind of go through what's the non raid Raptors first so um first thing first I'm I'm kind of thinking about taking taking one out but I'm running three nibs um and then I have three ghost ogres sorry for the glare the window um is kind of I was trying to get some light in, into the room but the glare is kind of messing it up uh but I also have three three ash blossoms so these really kind of helped me for sure i had uh dr was a drill locking bird or drill locking bird or whatever um but i took that out to kind of run this yesterday against my friends i went like i think i'll say i went four and two i think i went four and two um with the build i have right here i also have two uh similar bird of, of bleh, bird of perfection um once in a while i i will draw these and and does kind of help him help me out but uh definitely i was going up against a blue eyes uh build that my friend had and these ash and blossom definitely came into play and helped me uh to kind of stop him from summoning his blue eyes and, and and the other stuff that he's running with uh ghost ogre for sure kind of helped me against a one of my friends that was using um I'm trying to remember uh their dark world so definitely oh yeah dark world definitely was like really i, I was really worried um, and then cash tears. I love cash tears for sure. Uh, so I'm running one cash tier rise heart and then three cash tier, uh, veneer. Definitely. Um, like, you know, you summon this, right? You summon veneer and then you can add one to your hand. Um, and then definitely you can special summon. Definitely a good play, especially uh, level seven, uh, for them. And then you can get out one of the XC Raid Raptors that I will show you later later in the video, but definitely the ability will help you kind of like banish one on the field and you can tack if they have nothing else on the field. But uh, yeah, so I run three cast tier Fenir and then cast tier one cast tier Rise Heart. Um, I don't know. I kind of, I don't want to take these out because um, they do help me when I like in need of help. Uh, so that's something that I'm kind of, kind of working on with. Uh, now we're, we're going to go into the Raid Raptors that I have, the monsters that I have in my deck. Um, I got one Pain Lanius, one Memory Cry Lanius, and then I have two Raid Raptor Nor Lanius. Nor Lanius definitely helps um, when you have, when you're just spending some money to fill it right, and you want to get that rank five out. And if this is in your graveyard, definitely, um, definitely will help. Memory Cry for sure, you can banish and add. And then Panlanius, you can definitely summon. You could pick, let's say you have one of these out, right? You could choose. Choose Norlanius if it's on the field and take 500 damage. It doesn't take that much. You, know, you, don't, you don't really hurt yourself. Um, one, one, run two Raider's Wing. And these are, this is something that I just add overnight. Uh, was three Vanishing Lanius. It's old school, right? Uh, I, do, I did see some deck builds without um vanishing lanius but it did help me like when you have something if you're running a good play and you try to try to spell some more raid raptors from your hand 
vanishing it's vanishing lanes did help me um when in need right so in need of, of help so definitely definitely was a good play for me um it's not really damaging my deck i didn't really get any dead draws i would say uh but like I said, work in progress uh two raid raptor strange sorry <laughs> strangle lanius three bloom vulture bloom vulture i would say the ability for bloom vulture is kind of broken because if you have nothing on your field on your field right ability activates in your graveyard you can summon it and another raid raptor and i believe um the the effects of the monsters being special summon of your raid raptor doesn't negate it's like you can still activate their effect when they're special summon. and a lot of these raid raptors have abilities of when it's special summon and then last of course tribute lanius perfect so those are the monsters i have for sure that are in my deck now for the spells and trap this is also something that's work in progress because i don't really use emperor by run two um and then one phantom knights of shape oh my god shave Bru brigadine it's a little little extra play right for if, you, if you're in need of a dark attribute monster and then for spells i have foolish burial right after ruse and then rank up magic astral force i know there's other rank ups that you can use but kind of old school for me i like to keep where i can get the the even rank numbers onto the field just in case if something does happen unable to get your 13 rank with your rank uh rise rank up magic raid archers force so yeah this does come into play works out for me um like i said like it's not a fast build right it's not you get anything out as fast as the regular raid raptor the newer one newer version but this is this is my build i've been working with like i said if any suggestions leave the comments down below um and then lastly we're gonna go over the extra deck i do have a side deck but um later on in the year if there's an updated version where i'm enjoying it and it's actually working well for me i'll do an update review um and then see how that goes but here we go my extra deck i'm gonna show you all right here we go i have two raiders knight one dark rebellion xe dragon and then dark recream xe dragon um i would say i am loving raiders knight i was kind of curious, like why like i don't remember even hearing about this i know it's like an old xe monster but it's pretty good you know, you have this out you can detach and then you can xe summon a level five either uh dark recream xe dragon or i have uh four strix two four strix and then one brave strix this is definitely you can special summon and then you have its ability and then you go from there right um I want to run one more because there's there's times where I don't have this on the field and like I I'm like close to get like a level say a level a rank ten raid raptor which you'll see and I'm like I'm like I'm stuck and I can't get out another rank four raid raptor right so um, thinking about it adding one more maybe get rid of uh, my dark rebellion xe dragon um, just you know see or I'm gonna get might get rid of uh revolution falcon i haven't got this out yet but you know never know so that's why i'm keeping it in for now uh and then one raid rafter arsenal falcon this is definitely uh do recommend keeping this in your extra deck and then i have a raid rafter satellite cannon falcon um raid rafter ultimate falcon and then one raid rafter rising rebellion falcon this right here this boy is a beast uh the only issue that i have is it's unaffected by card effects, right? Um, the the ability the ability of this card is pretty good, but if you're going up anything that's has a higher attack after this is summoned, right, and your opponent comes out with a big banger, you're pretty screwed, right? Um, so like I said, I'm still learning about this new build and my build itself. So 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 some workarounds of it. And then lastly, I have two Raider right after Y Strix pretty good and then i don't have an sp little knight i know it's a big card to have 
but your boy doesn't have the money to put down a hundred dollars for that card so um i'm running one access code talker which it's been helpful for me i would say um it's pretty good of for what it is but yeah that's my build right now for uh the current for my current raid raptor deck um it's one of my favorite decks to play it's pretty fun for me like some casual player not more of like a very i'm gonna call it rank play <laughs> But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's something different. This is not something that I have posted in a very long time. But I do kind of want to mix up my content on my channel. So if you did enjoy this video, and if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player, or you're coming back to playing, you can come across this build, make sure you hit that like button. I will have a podcast up, um, probably two podcast episodes up next week, uh, if you're watching this video in its current, current time. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Next build that I'm going to show you guys is my hero build that I have. I love Destiny Heroes, so you will see my Destiny Hero slash E Hero slash Extra Hero deck. It's pretty common, but yeah, you guys see in the, in, in the future. See you guys. Bye.